The Situation Room has expressed worry over the escalation of violence between the two major political parties in Edo State, the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, ahead of the upcoming governorship election. The convener of the Situation Room, NS Wanko, while speaking to newsmen in Abuja, says public statements by the two major contenders have continued to heighten tensions in the state. Wanko says the Situation Room is worried that issue-based campaigns have been abandoned and both parties have resorted to stoking the flame of violence in the state. Situation Room is concerned about the rhetorics and isolated incidents of violence in Edo State ahead of the September 19, 2020 governorship election. Public statements by candidates and the political parties, especially the two main parties, is heightening political tension in the state and stoking violence. Issue-based campaigns have been relegated to the background and citizens have not been offered any real electoral choices. Recent actions by political actors indicate threats to the peaceful conduct of the elections, including squabbles over membership and leadership of the State House Assembly in that state. In addition to violence-leading campaigns, Situation Room is worried that these campaigns have been conducted in total disregard of COVID-19 pandemic protection protocols of campaign and voting. Escalation of COVID-19 cases represent a threat to voter turnout and participation in the election. Situation Room welcomes INEX trial of a portal whereby voters and the public at large can see the polling unit level results online within hours of voting closing. We have seen the poll at the week uh, in recent uh, days at the National State Assembly polls where this was tried out. We are calling on the security agencies that we did you know, mention here. These persons are not above the law. When people make such statements that rock foul of the Electoral Act, they should, the state agencies of state should be provoked to make arrests. Let them make statements because they are criminalized conduct. And, you know, constantly we are seeing that they are counting on non-state actors, purveyors of violence, by political violence and entrepreneurs. Why is why is the Nigerian police not acting now? That is the big question. They should desist from giving the impression of institutional bias. People should be under arrest and investigation.